Hi guys, welcome back to another experiment. For today's experiment, we're going to be looking at the water cycle and how the water cycle works. So all you need for this one is a ceramic plate, a jar, and some ice cubes, and also some hot water. So you might need a parent or an adult to help you with this one. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is pour in about five centimeters of hot water. And mine's recently been boiling. So probably that will be plenty. The next thing you want to do is grab your plate and just pop it on top so that it's flat. And we're gonna leave that for about three minutes. Okay, so I've left it for a few minutes now and already inside you can see the kind of the warm and moist air that's started to condensate around the jar. Now I've just added some ice to, on top of the plate and that's going to cool that plate down and then we're going to see what happens inside the jar. Okay, so now what's happening is the cold plate on top is causing the moisture in the warm air which is inside the jar to condense and form water droplets. So if you look closely you might just see some water droplets at, at the top of the jar and you can see them kind of falling down the side of the jar there. And that would be what we call precipitation or rain. And hopefully I can catch some hitting the, the water at the bottom of the jar there. So this is the same thing that happens in the atmosphere. So the warm moist air rises and meets the cold air high in the atmosphere. And the water vapour condenses and forms precipitation that falls to the ground. So give it a go at home, see if yours uh, will make rain probably a little bit better than mine. Um, but yeah, that's kind of showing the water cycle and I'll show you a quick diagram of how the water cycle works. Okay, so here's my poorly drawn example of how the water cycle works. So first up here on the right, you can see evaporation. So heat from the sun causes water on earth, so in oceans and lakes and rivers, to evaporate. So that's turned from a liquid into a gas. And when that happens, it rises into the sky. And this water vapour collects in the sky in the form of clouds. Then moving on to condensation. So this is when water vapour in the clouds cools down and it becomes water again. So this process is called condensation. Then when there's too much water in the clouds and the clouds can't hang on to the water anymore, it starts to fall from the sky. And this is called precipitation or what we know as rain or this could be snow or hail or sleet as well. So this is called precipitation. So when the rain is falling, it's got to go somewhere, and that's where the collection part happens. So that's when the oceans and lakes collect the water that has fallen. And then the water evaporates into the sky again by the sun's heat, and then the cycle continues. So that's a brief overview of how the water cycle works.